Right. Very good. Oh no, wait, lantern. Put the lantern back on. I bend it. <gasps> That's why I bought that one to match that lantern. Yeah, but it don't, it don't even work, that lantern. I, I took cables out years ago. Yeah, but it looked nice. I bought that mm. specially to match that lantern. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are going to be putting up some um, curtains. Shower curtains. Shower curtains. Well said, Tag. Tag's here with me. Um, Mummy, here we go. So the idea is, it's not your normal shower curtains. These are like display curtains, and it was the wife that told me about them. And you can put these curtains anywhere to hide a wall that you don't like or a doorway that you don't like or anything really. So what we need is something to go over these old garage doors, which although they're secure, they might not look it, but although they're secure, they don't look very nice. And um, we could paint them, which would be easy, but the wife has come up with this genius idea of using these shower curtains. So let's find out a little bit more about these curtains. Hello. Right then, wife here. <laughs> Where did you find out about these fancy shower curtains? Okay, so I didn't, I didn't come up with the idea. I found them on the Facebook group called um, Shower Curtain Gardeners. I will share this to the, to the site at some point, but um, yeah, you should go on and have a look because they can recover anything. You can use them inside, if I can put one in there, that you might have a look at later. No, this, outside. Inside or outside, yeah. I've got a bit obsessed with them. We'll probably have them all over the house at some point, but um, <laughs> Please we'll see don't. how they turn out on the garage. Please so we'll give, them, we'll give them a rating out of 10, yeah. uh, like we do with other products that we use. And... Um, these ones came from Clover online, so these are not actual shower curtains. Same kind of idea, but these are more tapestries, but same fabric as a shower curtain. So you can get them off Timu, Sheen, anywhere, but Clover online is one that's been recommended. So, right, and we're, I think we're, we're going to try staple them. Yeah. So, I mean, that, our, doors, <laughs> our, our doors are wooden anyway. Why not sellotape? So, sellotape won't, won't work over a long period of time. Okay, uh, so yeah, so these are doors and then we're going to do, we'll do a bit of filming, putting them up and then we'll do a, see what we think. we'll do, see what we think and see, see what, what see what you people think as well and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So somewhere in a drawer, I have somewhere um, a stapler. Somewhere in here. There it is. Look. You can hold that. Uh, is this safe? Put that back. I hope it's safe. Can I hold it by this handle? Right, that we got. Ty's got it. And then we'll uh, oh my God. we'll give it a go. Right, let's have a look. Is it going? Well, well, come on, give us your score out of 10. Well, curtains are nice, but when I measured them, I did measure, they did, I did order the full size of the doors. So you can get them in different sizes? Yeah, so I had to get the nearest size, but I'm a bit disappointed because I definitely opted for bigger rather than smaller. And they've definitely not quite covered it, have they? No, they haven't quite covered it. I think we could make it look alright though. Apart from that bit there that's blowing the wind now. 
I just need to staple that bit, bit, that bit of a corner. What about this thing over there? What thing? This hanging basket. What, moving it over there? No, this one in my hand. Oh, yeah. Put it up over there. Yeah. And I'll pick that one that didn't really get seen in the corner. It'll sort of blend in a bit better, won't it? Yeah. Uh, okay, so out of 10, I'm going to give it... I think the shower curtains look good. I like the design, but I the overall look that we've done. I'm thinking four, maybe five out of ten. It look obviously it looks better than what it did, but what we were trying to achieve. Not exactly. Not exactly. Well. But it definitely well. looks better than it did. But I'm just going to give it a four or five, four four point five out of ten. Shall we say though that it's not the finished article because we're going to add pots, hanging basket, try to blend it. Yeah, no. Well. well, you can say that, but we are we are just looking at these curtains for now. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think the design. If you go on that site, the design is really lovely. Loads of choice, animal choices, like fun, just patterns, garden themes, building themes. Um, you know, streets. Hold on, we're back. Go on, what, what do we think on so, the side? Sort of on the door, on, try to sort of blend it with that one. So probably, we go there. That... It wants to be upside down, just hang you got hanger upside down. Yeah, turn it up, turn, yeah, turn it round. Like that, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Are they, all, are they all upside down then? Well, no, because they're different type of brackets. But when you look at when you look at the hanger bit, it hangs like that, doesn't it? I don't know. Does it? Mind you, in wind it might blob off. Hmm. I suppose it could go either way, but I always thought it was that way. Yeah, you're probably right actually. What did I do that? Yeah. At least it wouldn't blow off in wind if it were like that. Uh I don't know. It's probably better on wall actually. Yeah, and it blends in with that one being on that wall. Yeah. Okay. Right, okay. Okay. Why is Mm-hmm. I do. I don't know, that's the way I had it. Yeah, I know, what I'm saying. It's high as that one, it's higher than Let me stand back and look. Although I'm a bit restricted by what storm we've got. Okay. So I'm going to have to go there, I think. I'm going that way then. <laughs> Probably the same height as that one. Yeah, that's pretty good, really. Uh, just to stop the video, just press the button on the top once and it'll beep about five times. So, just looking at it, um, we are going to paint the bit around the cat shower curtain just to tidy that bit up as well. Um, yeah, just to make it, just tidy it up, really, because it does look a little bit unfinished. So we'll give that, I'm getting some paint uh, next week, so we'll give that a paint. Um, it's all right, it looks better than what it did. Yeah, I think it's so, really nice actually. If we put some, you know, if we could fill them bottom bits with something. Yeah. Um, what some people do, like like I've tried to blend the stone in with the stone of the house. But you see like when there's a pathway on like that stone path there, you see some people kind of using similar stuff in the garden. So like extending the pathway with some sort of similar flooring type. So you're talking about this here. That pavement there, and then they might have their own pavement extended out onto the yeah, right, I see. And like that one, you know, you could get maybe some of them, you know, them long rectangular 
plant pot things. Yeah. And maybe put some sort of that kind of grey stone in. Yeah. But with some nice, sort of maybe quite tall flowers. I think that'll look nice. Right then. Yeah. Right. Very good. Oh no, wait, lantern. Put the lantern back on. I binned it. <gasps> That's why I bought that one to match that lantern. Yeah, but it don't, it don't even work, that lantern. I, I took cables out years ago. Yeah, but it looked nice. I bought that mm. specially to match that lantern. Didn't bin. Well, can't you get it out then? Bought that specially to match that lantern. Spent ages looking for that to match that. You have to put it back on now. back on uh yeah it's a bit higher than that one though have you started nailing it in no <laughs> it is that where it was before nope are you are you bothered nope <laughs> Screws. No, not long enough. So yeah, what do you think of the lantern? I think it was the part that it got added back up. However, you know it's not online with that one, which is stressing me out a little bit. But I think we'll have to live with it because we already wasn't too happy about having to put it back on again. Yeah, I think it adds to the effect. some actually for the door that you can get one that's like it looks like a stable door but with a horse's head popping over it right that'd be quite nice wouldn't it yeah right guys let us know what you think and uh yeah we'll see so that was today's little video and still a bit to do in garden actually i've got to do some jet washing once i borrow my brother's jet wash and hopefully we'll get this wall looking somewhat like get the stone back to the colour it should be rather than just like dirty grimy wall so yeah right thank you for uh, watching and if you get a chance it'd be great if you could subscribe and uh, give me a little thumbs up thanks for now see you next time bye bye